Well, I have some bad news for everybody, and that is that we've had a huge conflagration of wildfires in now in Quebec. So almost every Canadian province has been dealing with massive wildfires. Uh, and now we're seeing it in Quebec. And I want to show you this sad light image here. This is separate from the weather update because it's such an important thing. It needs its own video. And we're showing you the sad light image here to show you how this all flared up. And it flared up pretty quickly. So we're starting back from earlier today. And you'll see this is smoke from other wildfires. You see a couple of wildfires going. Uh, and then they start blowing up. Look at this. Take a look at this. They all start blowing up. Look at this. It's just erupting. I mean, this is Quebec. So you're looking right here. This is it right here. Quebec. Oh, what are you doing? Uh, so this is Quebec right here. And you'll see. Look at this. Massive wildfires. And then there's some more up here that just popped up too as well. So the whole province is dealing with this. And it looks like a few uh, around Ontario as well. So uh, this is all heading. There's some thick smoke. Looks like it's going to be heading toward uh, cities like Ottawa, Toronto. Uh, uh, are going to be dealing with that smoke and we will be dealing with it too you'll see behind this back door front there isn't going to be any clean air at all um, smoke everywhere I mean the planet is on fire Canada is on fire as a country we've never seen this it's unprecedented uh, and it's very alarming and yet and yet the snobs on Wall Street decided to celebrate today and, uh, and win big they're completely in their own little world there on Wall Street you know and, you know, this is part of the reason why I can't enjoy it as much, knowing that the planet is dying, all right? And I got to be on the South Shore and deal with assholes like this. What do you need a big ram for it? Guys, obviously, white finance professional blue shirt I, with his preppy wife or girlfriend driving that big behemoth, killing the planet. I mean, so... Let's get to it. Let's talk. Let's get the latest on these fires. Uh, these these flared up a little too late for the modus. This is the latest for the modus, and you can see they flared up a little too late uh, for that. So, let's go in here. Five hundred homes evacuated into Chapels due to forest fire. So here we go. More people are facing being evacuated and losing their homes. 500 homes had to be evacuated so far. All right. Forest fires forced thousands out of their homes in Quebec's North Shore. From CBC. Look at this. A number of out-of-control wildfires across Quebec have quickly manipulated the city of Septlis on the province's north shore has declared a local state of emergency and has put in place a mandatory evacuation for several neighborhoods. The evacuation order affects 5,000 residents in the region. The order is in effect for Lac Diego and Maliotonin sectors, as well as areas east of downtown, including Las Plagas and Mosey. Residents must leave their home by 4 p.m. Um, so, yeah, this is the map of all the fires. Now we have 120 fires burning in Quebec. Quebec asks for Army's help. So now the Army is, are we going to have to send help to Canada? Uh, the United States will probably have to send help to Canada. Of course, Quebec, the situation is quickly becoming more challenging for firefighters. So we have 120 fires with over 12,000 hectares affected. At least 80 of them are now considered out of control. Some of the new fires were caused by lightning, and the agency will not have enough resources to fight them all. So I guess that was with that coal front. There was some thunderstorm that developed from that coal front. Local state of emergency. Residents have never seen anything like this before. So this is what's going on here, uh, and it's crazy. I mean, we're seeing the planet burn before our eyes what is there to celebrate there's nothing to celebrate there's nothing at all to celebrate that's part of the why i can't be i don't know rockfield center that, that stuff's not not really as, as much fun as it used to be i can't live it up knowing the planet is dying these snobs they're in their own freaking world living it up oblivious to the reality that we're in 
All right? They're completely and utterly oblivious. And that's not the only wildfire going. That's not the only wildfire going. So I'll play this loop for you again. And you'll get to see this all just blow up here. Look at that. It just all just exploded right there. Look at that. I mean, my gosh. All right, let's see if we can go to 200. I'm curious to see if there were some thunderstorms that popped up over there. If we can get... We should do a GLM flash intensity. Let's see if we can load this. Let's see if we can get any of the thunderstorms that popped up here. Let's see. It's going to take a long time to load this. Hold on a second. And eventually load. I'm fighting through an allergy attack. I should have had the water with me, but... See, I am seeing some lightning over here. Yep. But look at this just blow up here. Yep. And there, there it is. Right, but that's not the only thing. We're still dealing with Northwest Territories and British Columbia also on fire. Look at all the smoke, man. There you go. It's the latest loop right there. Showing you how that's just exploding. Look at all that smoke. Another one, another loop. The smoke all over Canada, and this is going to get onto the ice, and it's going to make it darker, and it's going to cause more of it to melt. But yet, a lot of people are just so vain that they just don't want to realize. Look, I'm going to brag. I'm going to brag about myself. I'm one of the enlightened people. All right. These people that are living it up, they're not enlightened. I, I got to get some water. Uh, my allergy is really just... I apologize. I had to step away for that. You know, I should have to remember to bring the water with me. It seems like if I talk too much, I get a very uncomfortable post-nasal drip. And, of course, all this smoke around isn't very good either. So it feels like you're choking almost. Uh, but anyway, um, we're choking on smoke here. You know, I mean, it's it's unbelievable. And you have fires here. You have fires, fires... Uh, and can you just put forest fires, Canada, and you see what comes up. I mean, it's just wildfires rage in Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia, for Quebec. We still have the wildfires rage across the, across the country from B.C. to the Atlantic. And, of course, they want me to pay for that. Really, you guys absolutely suck. Um, but you get the idea. You know, I mean, it, it's just, it, it doesn't get enough news. It doesn't get enough news. If I just click here and I just go, news, let's see what happens. It doesn't come up. Uh, we're not searching for wildfires. Okay, it seems like it won't, if I go to just Google news, it won't. Uh, but let's go to our, you know, main, mainstream media here, our mainstream media sources here, uh, and see see if there any of them are talking about this. CNN com. Nope. No, nope, I don't see anything about that there. I hate CNN. What about Fox News? Not crazy about Fox News either. Nope. Nothing about it. Nothing about it there either, huh? Um. What about uh, NBC News? Nope. Nope. They're just talking about the the president's speech. All right. Nope, nothing about these fires. Nothing at all. All countries in crisis. Our neighbors to the north are in crisis. Nobody cares. It's, it's all freaking believable. What is wrong with people? ABC News. Let's see. Nope, nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. I'm not even going to go to News 12 here. All right, because you know News 12 ain't going to talk about it. I got to talk about it. Oh, well, that happened there. That's 
barely spent 19 seconds on that. Well, again, we're talking about the fires here. So, again, News 12 ain't going to talk about it. What about BBC News? Nope. Don't see anything about it here either. So it's unbelievable. The me mainstream media just ignores this. Um, let's go to CB CBC. is the only one that's going to talk about it. Canada's, well, not it's not even on their front page. Really? Really? It's not even on their front page? Ugh. Let's continue on here. Um, just had to get more water again. Now I got the glass in here. Shouldn't happen again. But uh, yeah, nothing. Nothing. Here. It doesn't even get talked about much on CBC. I mean, you know, you have to go down a little bit. But again, even CBC doesn't want to talk about it, which I'm kind of surprised about. Um, it's it's unbelievable. It really is. CTV. There's CTV as well. We can go to. CTV, which is Canada, can it? CCTV, television. Oh, it's just uh, they have a whole bunch of channels here. We need their news. Whatever. It's just not getting talked about in the media. You know, all the mainstream media. I'm even surprised that Canada is not really talking about it that much. Well, there's global news. We could try global news. I think that's. Let's see. Nope. I mean, this should be the number one story, guys. I mean, what's with the media? What's with the media? It's unbelievable. There's one more I'll, I'll try, and that's why on. We're talking about... Well, they're not even talking about it. So, horrible. Train crash there in India, but... Again, nobody's talking about all these fires going on. The planet, it's just... It's, 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 it's an inconvenient truth, like the movie. It really is. People just don't want to talk about they don't want to they just want to pretend that this isn't happening you want to pretend it's not serious uh they want to pretend they just want to pretend uh as the world burns it's unbelievable it really is you know they're in their own you know world just living it up there i mean look at them living it up i mean they're just you know it's so arrogant it's so preppy and in their own little little world away from you know the reality that uh, this planet is in some serious trouble right now uh, and look, I'm not saying don't go out and enjoy life, but you know we are in some 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 really serious times right now with the climate, and you know, and this is an emergency. We are in a climate emergency, and yet everybody is just oblivious. It's just unbelievable. And then, lastly, uh, you know, these assholes with the big big pickup pickup trucks here. Uh, yeah, I'm talking about you there in the maroon oversized ram. I think we already spoke about him. So, anyway, uh, that is going to wrap up this video here, this little rant on the cl on the wildfires going on in Canada right now. Um, it's This is unprecedented. We've never seen anything like this, uh, and this is, this is what we're going to be seeing more and more of uh, as we deal more and more with uh, climate change. Um, and, uh, you know, people just seem to be, it doesn't matter where, everybody in the, the, is just completely oblivious and just uh, wants to just pretend that this isn't serious and that somehow uh, we're going to get through this. No, we're not. No, we're not going to get through this. Um, we're going to see uh, the end of the world as we know it, basically. And I guess that's the way they feel. The, it's the end of the world as we know it, and I feel fine, like REM says. So that's it. Thank you for watching.